Hello guys and welcome to another video. So today we are looking at bad one star reviews of the Heroes of Olympus. House of Hades, of course, the fourth book in the series, it has over 300,000 ratings, so less, a lot less than the first one, and a 4.54 average, which is the highest one so far. It was also the Goodreads Choice 2013 winner. Interesting. But of course, let's focus on the one star reviews. You'll, you'll have to be seated for this one, guys. I have loved all the Rick Riordan with an E books so far. The Mark of Athena was my favorite a book, and I couldn't wait for his next book in the series, The House of Hades. I got the book ASAP and enjoyed the first 200 pages until I found out that Nico was gay. And the rest of the book was dedicated to trying to make people feel sorry for him for not getting Percy. And that made me very uncomfortable, as did my friends reading this. Please take the gay crap out of your books. And this has tank links. I just did a video reading homophobic reviews of Magnus Chase. I have no strength left to reply to people like this, because you can't change their minds, It's they're already set. But to you, I say, have you even read the f***ing book? Is, is it really just about making you feel bad that Nico didn't get Percy? I don't think Nico even wanted to get Percy. He was disgusted at himself for having liked Percy. That's what it was about. And him, like, getting to know who he really was and understand it and accept it. Not about him being sad not getting Percy. It's fine. There are seven demigods on quest and six of them get to be a POV characters. The only one who doesn't have a POV is the queer kid. Uh, this is the opposite end of the spectrum, obviously, but Nico isn't one of the seven, so he doesn't get a point of view here, not because he's gay, but because he's not one of the seven. Funnily enough, if you keep reading, he gets like a quarter of the points of views in the Blood of Olympus, which makes no sense because he hadn't gotten them up till then. Of course, I loved reading from Nico's point of view, but it felt like a huge tangent from the story, so... Let's just give him his own book. And Rick Riordan did, so. Ah, uh, of course, I, I just thought this was gonna be a funny one about how the writing was bad, but no, The House of Hades was the biggest disappointment ever. Rick Riordan has been growing more and more PC in his writing because he includes people who aren't white. <laughs> Can you believe? I tried to ignore it when the others, but this just crossed the line. It had one gay kid, one. That's, that's too many gays. Like, have you ever been in a room where there's like even one gay person? Like, that's already too much. Like, in comparison to the number of straight people, one is too much. Like, the gays are asking for too much. For those of you who agree, may I recommend that you also exercise your right to free speech and make an attempt to inform the author of your displeasure? I can't. I, I just can't. Just wanted to enjoy making a video, laughing at dumb reviews of Rick Riordan books, and then I am a Christian. I absolutely will never judge anyone who is homosexual, but as a Christian, I don't support homosexuality. I'm a Christian. Can't someone just hate this book because of something else? Like, god damn it. Okay, so I was just getting depressed <laughs> reading all these reviews, but then. Word of advice, do not bother with the audiobook. The narrator has turned every single demigod into a valley girl. It is like they invited the cast of Clueless to do the reading. But seriously, male and female characters are all valley girls. You cannot enjoy the book thanks to the narrator. In addition to the awful story, the narrator of this book is the worst narrator I've ever heard, and I have listened to a couple hundred audiobooks. Dear lord. The series has gone to hell in a handbasket. Pun intended. My goodness, the trek through Hades should only have to take one goddamn chapter, not an entire book, for Pete's sake. This entire story is not worth the seven to nine books Rick is trying to get. He- just five. What? Seven to nine? I believe it is time to add a do not bother reading message to my review of book one. So since I officially do not give a rat's ass if they all make it out of hell, I can say with conviction that this is the last Olympians book I am reading. Fair enough. I mean, it's one of my favorite in the series, but fair enough. This book is the work of Satan himself and shows that the author stands against God and Christians. Too much emphasis on LGBTQ characters. What, what is the yes there for? There's literally just the one. 
and he appears in the fourth book and that is mentioned in one or two chapters. That's it. If Nico had whispered in one chapter, I am gay, and that's it, nothing was said about the about that ever again, I swear people would still be complaining that there was too much emphasis put and that this should be illegal to put in a middle grade book. I can't, I I just wanna read funny reviews. The last one we're getting is someone just being like, it is not my genre. You've gotten like four books <laughs> into the series, she's like, Maybe this isn't for me. I want this video to be over already, but let's move on to Blood of Olympus, which has over 200,000 ratings and an average of 4.42. So it's like in the top three, I think. And it was a Goodreads choice for 2014 winner. Interesting. I hate this book. Percy and Annabeth did not play any freaking role in this book except spilling their blood and Percy getting his ass kicked every time his name comes up. Does anyone feel the same way? That's what I want. I want funny bad reviews. The people who are for homophobic left after the fourth book, right? So can I just get funny reviews? What the f was that? This is garbage compared to The Last Olympian. I agree. It dragged and the ending was predictable and so fast. You think that it would take longer than three to four chapters, barely, to defeat Mother Earth. I've been so disappointed. The choices the characters make are just really selfish. Also, I think that's talking about Leo. Also, there's absolutely no phrasal. Just like four pages near the end. I still dislike Frank. I only like one thing he did. I've developed a love for Piper because of how badass she's become. Yeah, I'll finish this review when I'm done being angry. Apparently, they never finished this review, so they never finished being angry. I'm sorry. Final battle gets over before it starts. Whole thing is too easy. Rick tries to make Jason the new Percy and Piper the new Annabeth, which does not work well. Hazel and Frank get sidelined. Leo takes all the credit without making a real sacrifice. That's kind of true. Percy and Annabeth become minor characters who need saving even in their places of power, and the whole Percy's choice thing does not even happen. Rachel loses her powers, so no next great prophecy. Totally predictable, and even some fanfics are better than this book. Hate you, Rick Riordan. Ah, that's refreshing. This book was horribly written and its ending completely expected and huge letdown. The characters and plot were predictable and stereotypical, along with all of this Percy and Annabeth, who are the only two characters the author took enough time for you to get to know, and the heroes of this first series don't even get a final perspective. Their problems remain unresolved and the author's choices for them disappointing. Agreed. Horrible book. Who would waste their money on this? It stinks. To be honest, this was not a good last book. Four out of the seven were treated as though they were unimportant to the plot, including Percy and Annabeth, who we started off with in Percy Jackson and the Olympians. And while I love Rena and Nico, we did not need two points of views on the Athena Parthenon. I kind of agree. Leo's ending was completely stupid, he was such a brilliant character, and he deserved so much more than he got. The fights with the giants was over as quickly as it started, and with the fight with Gaia, Gaia was supposed to be practically undefeatable. She would not have simply disappeared into nothing with a simple missile. Also, the gods were completely out of character, which I know was part of the whole point, but they have never been straight up helpful. They would have helped the seven reluctantly and then claimed most of the credit. Ugh, I hate giving up on books, but this one was really tough to get through. I called it about halfway in. Remember during House of Hades when I said the only saving grace of the book was that half of it was devoted to Annabeth and Percy, and all the less interesting people had to share the remaining half between them? This book doesn't have a single Annabeth or Percy chapter. Not a one. It's brutal. Maybe their involvement would have picked up later on and I would have enjoyed it more, but I just can't do it. Sorry, Rick. The worst book ever. Before I give my opinion about this book, let me make it clear that I am a Percy fan. Who won't be after following nine books? I understand Rick Riordan views about bringing in a new point of views, yet making the main protagonist as some one silly is like a bunch of nonsense. Here is a guy who came back from Tartarus and getting knocked out every two seconds without even a small fight. I really feel pity about myself reading the whole book. Worst ever book in this series. Thank God I finally finished this atrocity of a novel. They say, I'm really gonna keep this uh, review as short as possible. They tried. The worst book I've read in my life, I am not kidding. 
there are exactly four good moments in this book. I wonder what they think they are. What even happened in this book? The one star is for Percy and Annabeth. There was so much Jason, I wanted to die. Not one of his best. One star. Boring. The worst of the entire series. That's five years of my life I am never getting back. At least it's over. I will never reread this series. No, not even on pain of death. This was the person who said that they were reading it because they weren't a freaking queener and they made it and I'm so proud of them. Good for you. Screw you, Rick. Rick Riordan did this one so wrong. Boo, tomato, tomato, tomato. Honestly, this was just so disappointing. This is a reread for me and I forgot how out of character everyone is during this whole book. Comparing the final battle, which lasted maybe 25 pages, to the Battle of Manhattan, it's just sad. Rick really didn't bring it home with this one. I remember reading this when it was released, waiting for weeks to get my hands on it. I was 14 and my short life, I was never ever disappointed by a book. Until I read this, of course. The whole Heroes of Olympus series is pretty bad, but hands down, this book takes the crown. It was not good. Compared to the Blood of Olympus, this felt like a mistake. But this is the Blood of Olympus, what? It felt more like reading a fanfic of a well-written fanfic, but fanfic nonetheless. No, I think a fanfic would have honestly been better than that book. There, I said it. It's actually trash, shitty plot from a shitty author. But you've made it to this book, so I'm confused. The cookie cutter snarky demigods against the goofy underpowered immortals has had one too many cuts. It's stale, boring, and absolutely terrible note to end on. The disappointment cannot be overstated because the previous books were actually pretty okay. There was nothing from the main characters. They started the books with Percy and Annabeth so they should finish the books with them. No one cares or likes Jason and Piper. <gasps> we're done. So that was me reading one star reviews of the Heroes of Olympus. As you can see, it took a turn there in the fourth book. And since everyone generally agrees that House of Hades is one of the best books, you can clearly tell that people don't care how good a book is, how good the plot is, how well the characters are written, how well it's written as a whole. They just care if there's a gay character in it, and if there's a gay character in it, then everything has been ruined and they're not gonna read anything anymore. Which, you know, sucks to be them, but most of all, it sucks to be their kids. So I'm sorry for them, but you can always come to this channel and enjoy the Percy Jackson content here. So please leave a like if you liked my suffering, because it really did go downhill, didn't it? Oh yeah, I was in so much pain. So just, I don't know, maybe just leave me like an encouraging comment down below. God knows I'm gonna need it after doing this video and subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, click that bell button so you get notifications. I post videos every single Monday and I guess I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.